r slash sex workers. Michelle Breed says. It finally happened why can't men just be clients? Had met his guy off of Trist, you know the escorting website, this was a 7th meeting. He asked where I lived, when we first met, I told him a general location, it takes me about 2 hours, to travel out to him, for some reason he cold and wrap his mind around that weird. I don't like to shit where I sleep, anyway fast forward to our 7th meeting, we hung out for about 2 hours and he walked me to my car, opened my door, and tried leaning in for a kiss, but he met my cheek instead. It all happened super quick I saw he did something weird like his whole arm was in my backseat for not even half a second, drive the door open, and you can easily reach to the backseat floorboard, didn't think anything of it, sit by and watched him drive off, I turned around, and saw this on my floor, scanned it and sure enough. It was a tracker and the owner, him, had the location. I immediately called him, and asked if he had dropped something in my car and of course he played stupid, I told him he put a tracker in my car after a few seconds he says yes, and has sorry for sneaky I said what gives you the right to track me. He said he just wanted to see where I go, and I asked him okay well, when I got to my house in the city you don't believe I live, in were you going to tell me you put a tracker in my car? And he said no he was never going to tell me. You'll don't even know how uncomfortable I'm and this happened a couple days ago. If your clients want more than a quick nut that you had to pay for, there's Poth, eHarmony, Tinder, Bumble, Christian Mingle, etc. This is our job, it's already hard. Included photo. Fox Digital underscore design says. Mess with him. Leave it hidden on a public bus and he'll be wondering where you're going all the time. Laplacegang Green says. That's so smart Lmao, but it's too late now. Precipinus says. Lmao, this is diabolical. I love it. Dundage7RDH says. That is super creepy. Sounds like the kind of guy who is going to complain about getting blacklisted for nothing. Hurricane Katrina says. That's so macabre, like, Green River Killer level sinister, he wants to track you? Like a wildebeest on the Serengeti? To do what? And you wonder, why we talk about you so poorly, men. Oh my god. Wide Pair 5640 says. Backslash Wildconch. Rami0507 says. Jesus Christ, I don't even know what to say about this shit. Glad you found it right away. Hopefully you can put this guy on every blacklist there is. To my fellow clients, do you get why women in this business feel the need to screen and take so many precautions? Do you begin to understand now why so many get jaded and start to hate us? Look at each other, or in the mirror, if you're like this guy, and realize where the blame lies. Asinor Royale says. That's terrifying, so glad you are okay, and were alert enough to catch it. Wishing you safety and success, xx. Thesius 63 says. Jesus. Well, now that he knows that you know, you probably can't mess with him further. I wonder if there's a place you could have put it, that would have messed him up. Like a police cruiser, I don't know. But that really sucks. Tripaposta says. Find out where his mom lives and tell her. Hourglass Angel says. That's completely unhinged and unacceptable behavior, good on you for having the awareness to catch this before you got home. I hate to even think what his plan was if you hadn't caught him. Hope he doesn't try this on any other ladies. Stay safe. Blabalo says. Was writing should have called the police ASAP instead of him then remembered, over there, you could go to jail. Or get fined. Just for being a southwestern. Major Bantam says. The question is, did. You find the second one. Old trick is to place one to be found, and then the searching stops. Slamerothemus says. 
if you still have it, rather than place it on a bus, walk to a local police station and quietly drop in on or near a desk. They'll find it, track it and he will be in hot water up to his balls. r slash sex workers acrobatic underscore ocelot4978 says clients that think you're too important and special to verify you're getting blocked open ear 8858 says i've had individuals with top government clearances verify married public figures people with something to lose etc i block anyone who doesn't want to verify immediately I have no patience anymore. They can find somebody else, I'm sure there are plenty of providers who don't screen. Precipinus says. I had a guy on Wednesday, who didn't want to verify, because he was afraid of being caught in a sting. Like um, if your ass gets caught in a sting you're getting verified by the S at that moment anyhow, they don't care about doing it beforehand. Addison Lulu says. Also for the ones who keeps asking for more photos, you are not buying a object, we are humans. Jaden Chantress says. Please do not respond to my screening request with him a 48 year old real estate guy. Working Contract 690 says. I had a guy send me a pic of his abs as verification. Thinukid 1980 says. The bonus for me is I don't think I'm important or special so. Close bracket. Vanessaman55 says. What does it mean exactly to verify? Severultimatillo965 says. I know I'm going to get downvoted for this, but as a client I just don't like getting screened. What we are doing is already illegal, and I'm trying to be incredibly discreet about the whole thing. It's better when you'll have verification slash screening is a must in your profile, so guys like me can see it and move on. If a guy sees that and still tries to get around it then yeah, that guy's a frig boy. I'm 100% respectful of the sex workers, struggle and wouldn't ever tell you ladies to change if it's working for you, I'm just a random reddit poster lol, but it's something I personally can't get into. r slash sex workers posh princess xo says is it slow as f or is it just me i'm in florida and i'm at es i usually always wake up to new inquiries but lately i've been waking up to lots of bs maybe an inquiry or two it's really boring dealing with this slowness in thinking of starting camming as a side gig i even posted new photos on my ad which usually helps lil jillibean xo says in my experience it tends to really noticeably slow down around this time of year and doesn't noticeably pick back up again until end of January slash beginning of February. I've been doing FSSW for the better part of 8 years now, with a few years out in the middle there, when I had my kid, and the pattern still seems to be pretty much the same every year. I don't know if it's just me, or just the area I've always worked in, but I've learned to just be prepared for more days off than usual in and around the holidays. I remember my first year I was totally screwed, had zero savings, because I didn't expect it, and found myself taking work I wouldn't normally have taken, because cash was so tight and my anxiety was so high. Thankfully at this point I've built up a decent amount of regulars, to be able to count on a few really really good appointments. For example I'll definitely have an overpass or two in December, and I have an out of towner that comes into town every few months to book me for 3 hours a day for 4 to 5 days in a row, who I just saw last week, for padding. Plus I always make sure I have at least enough savings to keep me comfortable if I happen to find myself with zero bookings whatsoever for any significant stretches of time. Backend by I says. I feel like it's slow everywhere rntbh lol. I've been in 3 cities in the past week I get a few inquiries, but honestly not as many as I did in the same cities last year. Historical underscore service 73 says. Yeah super slow in New York, but still making money, but like my phone is very very dry these past few months. Since office saint 257 says. 
I was on a board and there were a lot of guys who were saying that escort prices have increased and has made them rethink going to certain escorts or how often they frequent or bargain shopping if you will lol. Get what you pay for. Foxippus says. That's how it is for me too. A few inquiries a day, but they ghost or they're just fantasy bookers and don't want to pay. I don't want to go back to the streets. Sever Ultimate Low 965 says. Client in South Florida here. 1. No lie, across all platforms, we easily have almost 1000 different girls posting ads daily. It seems like everyone and their mother is trying to do sex work right now. It's actually outrageous how flooded the market is. 2. The economy is frick ed up right now. Prices on everything is going up while wages are stagnant. Florida in particular is one of the worst paying states in America. The jobs don't really pay shit here. For every guy you see on Collins in a Lamborghini Urus, there's 10 guys working at Walmart for $13 an hour eating beans and rice for dinner every night. Hiring a sex worker is a luxury not a need and a lot of guys don't have dollar sign 300 plus in their budget right now to see a provider. 3. I spoke on this a few days ago. Right now we have an overabundance of undocumented refugees from Cuba, Colombia, Venezuela etc that can't find a civilian job and immediately jump into sex work. They don't screen guys, they are doing BBJS and going Greek for under $150. I imagine this is brutal for the Swiss with actual standards. I see op is trans, so I'm not sure how different the game is for you, but I imagine it's very hard right now. Sksisau Thurnbull says. I'm in cap and it's really slow here, and I haven't raided my rates since the pandemics. Fly underscore MILF says. HMU if you need a friend to collab with also in Tampa Bay. Leonidas 1214 says. Inflation plus holiday season equals no extra cash for recreational activities. Hat Kid Lover says. It's slower for sure. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.